What is a leap second? I mean, we have enough trouble with leap years. The difference is that the leap year is a planned event. The leap second is the Earth's way of keeping life interesting. The Earth isn't a perfect sphere. It's got mountains, oceans, earthquakes, and the moon yanking on it like it's walking a dog. All that makes the planet speed up and slow down just enough that our clocks get out of sync with the actual day. And seeing as the Earth defines the length of a day, we must comply. To rectify this, scientists have created a system called the Leap Second. An extra second added or subtracted on June 30th or December 31st. The last one was 2016. Since they started doing this in 1972, a second has been added because the Earth keeps slowing down more than speeding up. But here's a twist. They want to retire the leap seconds. It turns out that everyone hates them. Computers hate them, GPS hates them, the internet hates them, and your microwave probably hates them as well. So by 2035, they plan on stopping them entirely and let atomic time slowly drift away from the Earth time, leaving it to someone not born yet to figure it all out. Just like Congress. I am one of those few crazy people that loves the idea of a leap second. Think of the content. It's like New Year's. If we have another one before 2035, I'm going live with that thing, and I'm going to watch that clock strike 60. Or the more boring 58. Oh, I really hope it's 60.